हेलो स्टूडेंट होप यू हैव डन द प्रीवियस क्लासेस ऑफ वेक्टर इन द लास्ट क्लासेस वी हैव डिस्कस दैट द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ वेक्टर्स कैन बी डिफाइन इन टू वेज वन ऑफ द टाइप इज वेक्टर इज डॉट प्रोडक्ट और द स्केलर प्रोडक्ट एंड द सेकेंड वन इज द वेक्टर प्रोडक्ट और द क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द डॉट प्रोडक्ट और स्केलर प्रोडक्ट today i'm going to explain you what is the uh, vector product or cross product and some of its properties tumalok already moi jikini kotha kolu tar pisot moi aji tumalok vector cross product or kotha akoman koi dibo laisu so for this purpose also we are going to to consider two different vectors let a bar and b bar these are two a bar and b bar be two vectors and let us consider the theta be the angle between them so if you consider these two vector a bar and b bar and theta is the angle between them uh, if you have you remember one thing that theta must lies between 0 and pi including 0 and pi then you see that cross product of the vector a bar and b bar is denoted by this symbol a cross b and it is defined by a cross b is equal to modulus of a modulus of b sin theta n cap okay so here i have written just see here let a bar and b bar be two vectors incline at an angle theta it means the angle between the vector is theta where zero less than equal to theta less than equal to pi the cross product or the vector product of a bar and b bar is denoted by a bar cross b bar and how it is defined as just you have to remember the definition a bar cross b bar is defined by modulus of a modulus of b sin theta n cap now you see modulus of a modulus of b can be written as ab sin theta ab or you may write down this as ab sin theta n cap also but you remember what is n cap it's a very important thing n cap is the unit vector which is perpendicular to both the vector a bar and b bar okay you remember it that means if here a bar and b bar in your plane in a plane then then it is what the n cap is perpendicular to the plane that means if you consider the your uh, that means the page your paper your copy uh, as a plane then you see there you have drawn suppose a bar and b bar then if you uh, put your pen at this corner point of a and b that is the direction of, that is the unit vector that pen will be your unit vector and its direction is the direction of a right handed screw right handed screw means what it rotate like this like this you see like this means you suppose want to open your pen then the pen will um, the pen will come upward direction is not it and that is the direction of a right handed screw okay so here i have written all these things that n cap is the unit vector perpendicular to both a bar and b bar hmm this both is very important that perpendicular to both the vector ha huh? and its direction is the direction of a right handed screw when moved from a bar to b bar and you see here as uh, a bar we know a modulus of a bar is a scalar quantity modulus of b bar is a scalar quantity sin theta is a scalar quantity but n cap is a vector quantity so scalar into vector gives you a vector that's why this as a whole a bar cross b bar is a vector quantity and because of that reason this a bar cross b bar is a vector quantity that's why it is known as a vector product also cross product is also known as because of the symbol it is known as cross product or as the answer will be a vector that's why cross product is also known as a vector product then after this you see if any one of the vector a bar is equal to 0 or b bar is equal to 0 then theta is not defined okay in that case because both are zero vector then then you cannot define it because it has no direction in this case a bar cross b bar will be always equal to zero that means tumalkor jodi a bar ba b bar kono ba eta jodi zero hoy eta tumalkor khodai ki hobo a bar cross b bar will be a zero vector then now i am going to define some properties of uh, cross product the properties of cross product first is cross product is not commutative you already got some properties of dot product where we have seen the dot product is commutative but cross product is not commutative not commutative means a bar cross b bar is not equal to b bar cross a bar but a bar cross b bar is equal to minus b bar cross a bar that means if you change the position of the vectors then here it will be changed the symbol will be changed the direction will be opposite minus sign will be there if it is plus then it will be minus let us do the proof you know the by definition a bar cross b bar is defined by modulus a modulus b sin theta n cap okay 
or modulus of A, modulus of B can be written as AB and sin theta n cap, right? After that, if I want to find out B bar cross A bar, we can write down it as modulus of B, modulus of A, sin theta minus n cap. Why you see minus n cap? Because in this case, I have already written this direction about the direction of A and B. You see, n cap is the unit vector perpendicular to both A bar and B bar and its direction is the direction of a right-handed screw when moved from A to B. That means if this, this vector is A and this is your B vector, when it moves like this, then the direction is positive. So obviously the opposite direction will be, that means clockwise, anti-clockwise direction is considered as positive. If it is moved from this to this, B to A, then its clockwise direction, it will be considered as a negative direction. Because of this reason, when B cross A is there, you will have minus N cap. And as a whole minus sign scalar number, so we can take it outside and we got it AB sin theta. Because A and B are, mag magnitude of BA is obviously it will be commutative. So if it can be written as um, AB, BA can be written as AB because it, numbers satisfy the commutativity. Product of two numbers satisfy commutativity. So, BA can be written as AB and this negative sign I just write down outside sin theta n cap. Now, we compare it. You see, this is A cross B. If I put the minus sign here, you will have minus B cross A. So, A cross B is equal to minus B cross A. That means in case of dot product, A dot B is equal to A bar dot B bar is equal to B bar dot A bar. But in case of cross product, A bar cross B bar is not equal to B cross A, but it is equal to what? Minus B cross A. Okay? That is the first property of cross product. Next property of dot product, I just want to compare them with the dot product also. dot product compare Second one, a bar cross a bar is equal to zero bar. That means if you consider the cross product of the same vector that leads to zero. Hope you remember in case of dot product, a bar dot a bar is equal to what? A bar square or a square or modulus of a square. But in case of cross, it will be zero. Why? Let us see. A bar cross A bar, by definition, it can be written as modulus of A, modulus of A. What is the angle between A cross A? A cross A in the same direction, so angle between them will be equal to 0 degree. And N cap is the unit vector. Okay? And we know sin of 0 is equal to 0. So whatever the value of the remaining thing, A remains as A, this is A, and 0 into N cap. So multiplying this by 0, we'll have a 0 vector as this N cap is present. That's why we got it, that A bar cross A bar is equal to 0 bar. Okay, now go to the next property number 3. If A bar is parallel to B bar, then A bar cross B bar is 0. Hope you remember in the case of dot product, we have got, if A bar dot B bar is 0, the vectors are perpendicular. Okay, but in the case of cross product, when cross product 0, parallel, their cross product will be 0. When perpendicular, dot product will be 0. Okay. So, A bar cross A bar, by definition, A bar cross B bar, sorry. A bar cross B bar, by definition, it can be written as modulus A bar, modulus B bar, sin theta n cap. Okay, sin 0 degree n cap because uh, here A bar is parallel to B bar. So, parallel means they are in the same direction, then angle between them is 0. If they are in the opposite direction, then angle between them is equal to 180 degree. But we know uh, whether it is sin 0 degree or 180 degree, sin 0 degree value is 0. And sin 1 degree value is also 0. So, you will have what? It's a 0 vector because it will be 0 and ultimately we got it as 0 vector. That means when two vectors are parallel, then cross product is 0. And already we have got when two vectors are perpendicular, then dot product is equal to 0. Similarly, in the next property, if the modulus of A bar is not equal to 0, modulus of B bar is not equal to 0. That means A bar and B bar, they are non-zero vectors, magnitude not 0. But A bar cross B bar is 0, then they are parallel. Hope you remember the same type of property in case of dot product. If modulus of A and B are not 0, but dot product 0, then they are perpendicular. Okay. The, here, this is the just the converse of this result. That we can combine both this together. If the vector is parallel, cross product 0. If cross product 0, it is parallel. Let us check it. Cross product 0, it is given. So, by definition, it can be written as modulus A, modulus B, sin theta, n cap, 0 bar. Already given A bar not 0, B bar not 0. Okay, sin theta cannot be 0 because it's a unit vector. So, what is left? Sin theta is equal to 0. N cap, again I repeat, this is not 0, it's given. This is not 0, it's given. N cap cannot be 0, it's a unit vector. So, which is left? Sin theta is equal to 0 because it's a 0 vector. So, sin theta 0. 
since it's a magnitude that's why i'm here using here zero zero magnitude ah so when sine value is zero i need to say the parallel actually general value i have not written for n pi sine is zero but i am using here the values as zero degree and 180 degree and zero degree and 180 degree zero degree means the vectors are in the same direction then only angle between them will be zero and if the vectors are in the opposite direction, it is 90 degree, but both the cases, the vectors are parallel. So your conclusion is A bar is parallel to B bar. Hope you understand it. Now I go to the next property, number five. That is I bar cross, I cap cross, I cap is equal to J cap cross, J cap is equal to K cap cross, K cap is equal to zero K bar. That means dot product, I cap, J cap, K cap, K cap. Hope you remember. They are the unit vector in the direction of X, Y, and Z axis. Let us take it. I cap cross I cap by definition of cross product it can be written as modulus I cap modulus A cap sign of angle between them what is the angle between them same vector with same vector makes an angle zero degree so it will be zero degree into a unit vector which is perpendicular to both the vector obviously you can write down it as J cap or K cap J cap ba K cap ki baata likhi le hol kunu problem nai when J cap likhi su because J cap is also perpendicular to I cap because J cap is the unit vector in the direction of y axis so ultimately sign 0 0 leads to the 0 value similarly j cross j and k cross k can be proved the next one number sixth property is i cap cross j cap is equal to k cap j cap cross k cap is equal to i cap k cap cross i cap is equal to j cap and also if you change the position i cross j minus j cross a same thing you see it rotate if you rotate the in a cyclic order then the result can be easily remembered i cross j remaining k so this is k j cross k when it is rotated in the clockwise direction this way cyclic order j cross k remaining i k cross i remaining j but if it is j cross i opposite direction this is na minus k k ah, so remember this is very important now let us prove it one of the one of them i have proved here i cross j by definition modulus i cap modulus j cap what is the angle between i cross j i cross the angle between them is 90 degree and the unit vector which is perpendicular to both i cap and j cap is what k cap because x axis and y axis direction they are unit vectors so other unit vectors is perpendicular to x and y both is z axis so that means the unit vector in the direction of z axis is k cap right so you have got magnitude of i cap is 1 magnitude of j cap is 1 sine 90 is 1 right and k cap will be left so this is k cap Similarly, this is minus j cross i because i cross k when i cross j when you change the position it becomes j cross i but the sign will be negative. Similarly, one more I had done here j cross k it will be by definition modulus of j cap modulus of k cap sine of angle between them is 90 degree and the unit vector perpendicular to both j and k is what i. Hope you understand why i because it's a unit vector in the direction of y axis this is the unit vector in the direction of z axis so obviously uh, x axis is perpendicular to both the axis that's why i have used here i cap ah, no need to write down here n cap any vector because it is known to you that i cap is the unit vector which is perpendicular to both j and k cap same way i have substituted the value j cap magnitude of j cap is one because it's a unit vector k cap is also one because it's a unit vector sin 90 is one i cap is left that is equal to i cap similarly the rest can be proved now in the next case i want to give the result of getting the cross product when the vectors are given in component form if a bar is a1 i cap plus a2 j cap plus a3 k cap b1 is, b bar is b1 i cap plus b2 j cap plus b3 k cap then a bar cross b bar is equal to what i cap j cap k cap a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 that means how to remember you see a bar cross b bar when you want to when they are given in the component form First line, I cap, J cap, K cap will be there. It's a 3 by 3 determinant. Then you write down the coefficient of I cap, J cap, K cap of the first vector, which are A1, A2, A3, you see. The third row is what? Write down the coefficient of the second vector. I cap, J cap, K cap coefficient of the second vector, which is B1, B2, B3, this one. Let us prove that A cross B is equal to this way. Okay. So first what I have done, I have put the value A cross B, I just put the values of A bar and B bar. Then I use the distributive law. By distributive law, what will have? I, A1 I cap cross B1 I cap plus A1 I cap cross B2 J cap 
a one i cap cross b three k cap similarly distributive law can be applied for this into this like this ha huh? complete you will have nine terms all have written after that you know that uh, when two vectors are multiplied then set scalars can be taken outside if required so i have bring here i cross a one b one first then i cross i i cap cross i cap that means i just combine together the scalars and the vector बेलेग बेलेग कोई डिस्ट्रो स्केलर्स बुरा मैं आगे तो लिखी पारू ठीक एक ऐसे होने में पिसार टू की लिखीं a one b two i cross z this one a one b three i cross k this one then fourth term a two b one z cross i a two b one z cross i then a two b two z cross z right a two b three z cross k then a three b one the next line a three b one here you see a three b one k cross i a three b a three b two k cross z this one then a3 b3 k cross k and you know same vector with same ve vector cross product will be zero so i cross a i j cross z k cross k will be zero only these are left now we can we know the value of i cross z j cross k all this so what is i cross z you see here i cross z can be written as k so i have written here a1 b2 k cap next i need i cross k i cross k they are they are rotated in the not cyclic order it opposite the cyclic that is i cross k k cross i hole ki hobo j cap but i cross j hole hobo tumal kor minus j cap so this is minus j cap next a to b1 j cross i j cross i any direction is opposite so it is minus k rokhi jwa to hoy a3 b3 b j cross k j cross k cyclic order follow kori se ta mane ki hobo i then k cross i k cross i follow the cyclic order so it will be j and k cross j k cross j opposite that is minus i you see i have written all this value as i had told here After this, you see, I can take common the coefficient of i cap, z cap, k cap together. I cap I have taken together. I cap value. You see, this is i cap. So inside bracket we'll have a two b three, and this is i cap minus a three b two. Minus z cap. Let us write down because our aim is to put it in the form of a determinant, and we know in the determinant of third order, second term is negative. That's why I want to take minus z cap common. So minus z cap when I take common, what is left? A one B three and the term containing Z cap is minus A three B one because it is positive since I have taken common minus sign so it will be negative. Then plus K cap when I take common then A one B two and then we have minus A two B one. Now obviously it can be written in the form of a determinant. I cap Z cap K cap A A one A two A three B one B two B three because if you expand you see you will get it. I cap first row first column when you delete if I want to expand it. A one, A two, B three minus A three, B one. This is done. Minus Z cap. You have to delete now. Second, first row, second column. Then B one, A one, B three minus A three, B one. A three, B one. This will be obtained. And K cap A one, B two minus A two, B one. This is done. So this as a formula of getting the cross product of two vector when they are in the component form. You try to remember. Okay. After this, I just state some of the more properties. Cross product is distributive with respect to vector addition, as I have used already. A bar cross B bar plus C bar can be written as A bar cross B bar plus A bar cross C bar. Both left and right distributive law holds. Hmm. Distributive law. Belay ke kuno hami jo open kori bracket to open kora tu ke distributive law koi su. Next angle between the two vectors. If theta be the angle between the vectors A bar and B bar, then by definition of cross product we can write down this result. And cap I want to remove. That's why I've just taken modulus. So modulus become modulus I cap modulus b bar modulus sine theta modulus sine theta. I mean sine theta and modulus of n cap is one. This is done. Then sine theta value can be written as modulus of a bar cross b bar by modulus a modulus b. The angle between two vectors when they are in the uh, dot product is given. Also we have got that is what a bar dot b bar by modulus a modulus b. But in this case a bar cross b bar its magnitude is required divided by modulus of a. Bar modulus of b bar. Try to remember. Hmm. Next one more important result in the cross product we have got uh, generally in the dot product we don't have this type of result. So the next result is what the magnitude of the cross product of two vectors a bar and b bar is the area of the parallelogram whose adjacent sides are represented by a bar and b bar. That means if a bar and b bar are the adjacent sides of a parallelogram, then the cross product Magnitude gives the area of the parallelogram. That means if suppose I'm drawing a diagram, if this is your a bar and this is your b bar, they are the adjacent sides of a parallelogram. So I have complete the parallelogram. I have not done the proof. After this, you see if this is the 
parallelogram whose adjacent sides are given by a bar cross b bar then its area can be written as what the area of the parallelogram is modulus of a bar cross b bar that means magnitude of the cross product cross product of a bar cross b bar the magnitude that means modulus of a cross b this is the important result to get the area of a parallelogram we are going to use like this what is the area of this parallelogram the area of the parallelogram is modulus of a bar cross b bar now we know diagonal divides the parallelogram into two equal parts and that means we have got a triangle is not it so area of a triangle is what half of magnitude of a bar cross b bar this result i have derived from the, this one here also i have not given the derivation because it's not required on the general not sitting exam that's why i have not omitted that and just the result we have to apply amak result to lage karane result to likhi disu similarly area of the triangle is what half of magnitude of a bar cross b bar and this result also i have used that is lambda a bar cross b bar can be written as lambda a bar cross b bar or a bar cross lambda b bar tamen tumalke yar pra ami ki ko scalar to tumalkor nijor itcha motte thai to change korbo para vector thai you cannot change okay so these are your properties of uh, cross product you just read the cross product properties properly bhalke pohiba monot rakhibo try korba and this we will use when we do the next exercise okay to tumalkor next exercise at your property bur definition bur use hobo so bhalre buji loi monot rakhibo chesta koriba thank you